think that's supposed to be there. All right, everybody, welcome back. Hey, I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving last week. Um, you know, I always like to say, you know, if um, I had food on the table, it was a good Thanksgiving, regardless of what happened. If I had food on the table, and if you're able to go out there and shop on Black Friday, able to go out there and buy a comic book for nine, ten dollars, then listen, you had a great Thanksgiving week. All right, we're doing better than most. Let's just say that, okay? All right, guys, so went to Walmart, and as you can see, um, I've got a new book. I've got a new pack from, from um, the Marvel packs. So we're going to open that pack. Um, real quick, just to talk about that, um, those um, NECA um, capsules I saw there. I was going to pull a trigger on them and buy them. Um, they were $9 for those little capsules. And you guys know me. You know I like to open mystery things. I like things that, you know, that are kind of you know, uh, blind, blind, blind boxes, blind bags, all those things. I like doing that. But man, nine dollars for those—that was quite a. That's quite a bit. So I kind of passed on that. Now, um, in retrospect, I did um, go online and look at some other folks that have gotten those. And you know what? Um, take a look. Take a look at those videos uh, if you want to know what's inside those capsules. Um, just as far as for me wasn't really worth it so um but yeah check it out there's a lot of guys online doing on youtube i should say doing um openings of those neca capsules okay um they were cool because they are a throwback to back in the day when i used to get them for you know 25 cents at the grocery store you pop them in there turn that little dial and out pops a little capsule that was a cool thing when i was a kid and uh it was really really neat to get uh um, all kinds of, you know, you had some superhero stuff, you had some movie stuff. It, it was really cool. Um, but uh, like I said, um, could pull the trigger on that one. Okay, so let's go and open up this pack. And at the end of this video, I have another video of a pack that I got beforehand. Um, I didn't post it because um, there wasn't really a whole lot to it. But I decided since I'm opening this one and I'm going to have that video sitting there, I might as well go ahead and put the two together. And uh, you guys to check it out and see what you think. Okay, it's from an old pack, not a new one. But uh, let's see. All right, cool. So like I said, the new packs are here. Um, I know that there is a facsimile Spider-Man out there somewhere. Um, this um, location does not have it, so that's my next hunt. The Spider-Man One facsimile, and uh, we'll go ahead and buy some more books when we get there as well. They had some um, some books that they didn't have yet, but uh, at least I got one. Okay. So let's take a look at this one. I got this one because of this awesome cover. Um, I think it's by Kari Andrews. I believe it's how you pronounce the gentleman's name. It's a really cool cover. I like it. Um, it's a really nice throwback. Showing all these different um, X-Men from the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. It's a really cool book. I don't have this book, so it's great to get this one. All right. So excited about that one. Savage Avengers, number one. That's a cool pickup because um, I've been kind of curious about Savage Avengers because it's got Conan in it. Was never really a big Conan guy growing up, but the fact that he's in the Marvel Universe swinging and his sword with the Avengers I thought was a pretty cool thing. Um, so this is a really good pickup for me because it's number one. I don't have it, and I get to start it. And maybe, hey, if it's really good, maybe I'll start, with the, start collecting the rest of the series. Okay, so that was a good one. And holy smoke of what in the heck is that? Look at that thing. Man, I got to tell you what, that is hideous. <laughs> but um, looks like it's a She-Hulk Carnage Forever variant. All right. That is that is disturbing to say the least. But um, it's a variant, which is kind of cool. So, uh, all right, cool. All right, guys. Quick video when it comes to the new stuff. So we're going to move on to the next video. And you guys check out what I found a couple of days before that at one of the uh, Walmart locations. All right, guys. Have a good night. Well, the reason why I picked up this book, even though I have this issue already in a couple different forms, especially this variant form here, 
was because this one looked like one of the ones that have a bad and border comic in it which um these these packs that's the thing that's the hot thing going here um having um, a bag and border book you know, a lot of them are variance ratios um just some really odd stuff to be putting in a pack like this so you know, we had the whole you know uh store exclusive exclusives a couple of months ago that were end up in packs we had the one in 1000 variants you've got your one in 100 variants you've got um you know, you've got a couple of really cool things um and this month or i'm sorry this particular group of, of um comics this time around uh the main thing is the bag and board of books and there's a lot of folks out there i've seen on youtube that have been picking these books up uh, these packs have been getting those books in them <clears throat> excuse me sorry a little under weather tonight um i'll try to put a link um in the uh, description of some of the folks that um we're getting some really good books. Uh, I want to give them a shout out if I can. Unfortunately, I don't have the names on top of my head or written down, but I'll try to, you know, put a little shout out for them in the in the uh, description so that you guys can go see what they got as well. So, um, like I said, in this in, in this market, we got plenty of them. So, um, hopefully, by the time this video posts and we go through all that, hopefully, um, I can go back and there'll still be books left. You know, hopefully, it won't turn me into a liar. So hopefully all those books that are stacked up in those stores are still there. I can pick up a couple. Maybe I can send some out to you guys. All right. Okay. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and see what we've got here. Now this one, like I said before in some other videos, uh, these packs have been damaged. A lot of them have been damaged that I've been seeing. This one's no different. Um, it's got a little corner crease there. Um, you know, I already have a copy of it. It's already like the one I have is damaged as well. So... You know, it kind of stinks. I can't get a good, clean copy of this. I've, I've looked, and uh, I just can't find a good one that doesn't have something here, 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 or here. <laughs> okay? Um, but, hey, maybe what we got on the inside would help, you know, make that all better. So let's pop it up real quick. Okay. All righty. So... Now, listen, I'm telling you right now, if I get another Wolverine Exit Wounds, I might, I might, well, I can't scream, my wife will kill me, but um, I might throw this pack to the wall. <laughs> so, let's take a look. I'm just Josh, and I wouldn't do that. All right, and like I said, this one, the crease there, I just can't seem to get a clean copy of this one, but, you know, it is what it is. All right. All right. Okay. Now, let's see what's on the bottom here. Okay. Cool. Star Wars, Darth Vader. Already got this one. But let's go back to this one. So this is Alien number one. Now this is a different variant. The variant I had last time was the premiere variant, which um was by Inhook Lee. This is a different one. This one looks like it's by Mike, by um, McNiven. By Steve McNiven. Sorry, let me zoom out a little bit here. That's what this one looks like. Looks like Steve McNiven art. So I've not gotten this one. See that there at the bottom? M and V. So cool. All right. Well, I'm not sure what the uh, ratio on this is and what the deal on this is, but of course, I'm going to go ahead and research that. But um, I, you know what? I like it. I'm a, it's a nice cover. It really is. So I'm not mad at this pack. So you guys aren't going to see a video of me throwing this pack through the wall or catching it on fire. <laughs> this one actually, I'm okay with it. Um, like I said, I got two books here that I've already already owned, but um, I like this cover. It's a very nice cover. And do a little research on that. So, you know, um, if I can find some more that have the, uh, that show the two, you know, backing boards in them, I might still keep picking them up. Um, I said I wasn't going to, but um, because I had two of those Wolverine Exit Wounds, I was like, oh man, I can't keep getting these Exit Wound books. And it's not even a book I like. Um, but you know what? After watching you guys online get some pretty cool stuff, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. So, all right, guys. Let me get out of here. You guys have a great night, and we will see you next time.